Welcome back to this second part of this one part of series. Yeah, so this is more Lego stuff, innit? There's actually quite a lot of stuff here that I um, didn't think I'd draw that stupidly, so I'd get it all on the table, but I can't. As you can see, there's some stuff off to the side here. And I might just realise shrinking is in the way. And if I move the Blue High Red Ranger key I've got here, I'll be able to get some more space. And this if you change her and cake a wall you go on top of there on the iPod. So hopefully this will give more room for this to move. I really should have done this before filming, but hey, things happen. Right, I think the first things we should look at first are the uh, enemies because well the enemies are the smaller ones and well they won't be too clunky to try and handle. So uh, if I recall, I think I got nine. Uh, I think I got 8 or 9 out of 10 of the blind bag series because, well, I kind of knew that certain barcodes would have certain different, like, different interactions and some of them didn't. And one of them isn't even an enemy, one of them is a, a penguin from the, also from the blind bag line. So, uh, hopefully I'm able to do all this before stuff happens. I know the chain trump doesn't count. Um, 3D does both, so, uh, oh, and the camera are all doomed. Um, that's a reused joke. If I get Luigi here and turn him on... Oh, good, there's a lot of stuff in here. Hello, but the first enemy is the Freezy. And if you scan his barcode, there's like a freeze effect that happens. And it takes some time for the uh, ice to go. So that's what the Freezy does. I don't think, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think the Freezy is in any of the games I've, I've played, like I said last time. Not in New Super Mario Bros. either. There might be in some other New Super Mario Bros. games. I've only played that one, you see. The next uh, enemy we've got is a coin coffer, which is, which is actually from 3D uh, World and Land, and I've actually played that. Hang on. Hang on. All these enemies. Oh, isn't the Freezy from them? Um, no, I, you know what? I don't really mind if I get the. Um, I don't know if you'll mind, but I don't mind whether, whether I get it wrong or not. Um, right, here's the coin coffer. He gains coin, he gets coins. But I think that only happens once and you have to wait a little bit. I'm not sure, it just doesn't work after that. I'm not entirely sure what happens. Then we've got the Ant Trooper, which is also from a blink in the 3D world. I think this is only a one hit enemy like before. Yes, it is. It's a one hit enemy like before. Then we've also got the Sting Bee, which is from, also from 3D, 3D lines. So seems, they seem to be doing a lot more 3D line enemies. And yes, his wings can be moved up and down if you do. So want to do that. Here's a one hit enemy like I predicted. The graphics for all the one hit enemies are the same, by the way. We've got a Para Biddy Bud in red. I saw, I saw it last time it was like a regular Biddy Bud. No, it's a flying one, so it's Para. That's a one hit enemy as well. All these, all these enemies can be one hit to endless coin things, but only if you spam it. If you only if you spam. Here's a Skeddy Rat, his box is on the side. Here's a, a one hit enemy too. Um and then we and then we've got the uh Mecha Cooper here. Mecha Cooper. Um here he is. His mouth can be opened, and yes, there's actually a surprising amount of articulation for a Mario blind bike enemy, and he actually is different. Uh, he's got a... He's a two-hit enemy like the uh, Cooper Troopers, even though he's not, he's, even though he's a Mecha Cooper. Technically, you can't can, can totally get rid of him in the games, but uh, whatever. Um, then we've got the uh, last basic enemy here, a bully. Now, this is the, the I think this is the latest um, boss-like enemy in the blind bugs. I really do hope they do more. Look. What? He only uh, gains one coin, and I thought it was like a boss, but um, that might have been me going insane. I got the water sound effect too, that wasn't supposed to happen. Hang on. Unless it's thought the body was the water, I'm not sure. Water's blue bricks. And then we've got the ghost enemy. Oh, bef well, before I get to the ghost enemy, we've, got, we've actually got the penguin tile. And this is the same thing as the friend tile, but it gives a different uh, uh, sound effects. Well, nearly all, nearly all different at least. Mia. You've, you've got that weird penguin sound effect. I haven't played Super Mario Bros. and Super Mario Bros. But okay, that's a lie. I have. I haven't got past the Bomb Battlefield, but I think it's Bomb Battlefield because I'm more used to playing newer, like only Super Mario Galaxy because uh, 
well, I'm more into the like the more newer games, not let, let alone the old ones. And then we've got the uh, Luigi's Mansion enemies. We've got the uh, Purple Ghost. Now, if it makes a difference if you uh, wear the um, suit or not, and I'll show you what happens with, with the suit because we have the suit works as well. You get scared by. I think you get scared by. I think you get scared by all the ghosts. We've, we've got the red ghost here. Exactly the same. Green ghost. The same thing happens. Now, if you put on the um the the vacuum, the uh, portico, I put I put the portico suit at least. You'll see if there's a button, and if you push the button, certain rails come out. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, there's like the, the rails in the middle. They just nudge out a bit and hit some extra pins. So I'll show you what happens if you equip this suit. There's like a spinning vortex in there, and what happens if you press the button? This happens. So you need to press and hold the button and hit the enemy while, while you're holding the button to get a new effect because it's like so it's the it's so simulation of sucking the ghosts up. So this is what happens if you uh, use the purple ghost. Okay, that's just triggered the poison effect. Let's just do it off screen. I'll just have to describe what happens. Hopefully, you can still hear the sounds though. So that was like an 8 hit boss, uh, which is understandable because it's a bigger ghost. Now we've got the green ghost, I believe it's the goblin. I know these, these all have names, but I'm, I don't play Luigi's Mansion. I know that's the. I know this green one's the garbage can ghost, but I, I only remember that because he's green. Good grief. Right. right how, many, how many hits does he take? I've got... I can't remember. I honestly can't. That's like a seven hit uh, boss ghost. And then the red one, how much does he take? He takes um, seven hits, I think it's seven at least. I think I remember counting seven. Now, during that, I also got the Bluetooth icon pop up, which is basically just a picture of a phone with the Bluetooth logo on. Now, this implies that there's more sets still to come. Not just for wave five, but for more waves, maybe up to maybe maybe wave nine or wave ten. Depends on how popular this goes and how how long it goes for. Take your trousers off. Put your trousers back on. Um, they're not trousers; they're dungarees. Good grief! So uh, I don't really know how long this thing will go on for. No, Lego and Nintendo probably go on for the next five kajillion years or something. Um. Yeah, so the next thing I'm just going to get out of the way next is this start tile. You'll see here, it's a start tile. It's not a pipe, and, but the same thing happens if I remember. I've got no idea what this music's from. I think it's the first of which you can manage the game. I might not be sure they like to sound nostalgia like that. Same thing happens if you finish. Right. Next thing is this mirror item. And there's a barcode in there. I believe this looks like a friend tile. Let's see. So yeah, there's like a slightly different sound effect. Plus you get free nightmare feel with it. Hang on. I think the first time you scan it, you get different sound effects, which is understandable because that's how some of the other barcodes work. And then we've got the, um, moving on to the uh, black pipe, which is the uh, cannon. It's not a pipe, it's a cannon. It moves. If you t twist, you twist that another barcode in there, surprisingly. If we, you have to move his arms up. He won't fit in there with the arms down. It's like a sound effect. And if you move it while he's in there, you get this.
So that's what happens when you do that. Um, yeah, this, this is the airship music from the, the new and um, the new Super Mario Bros. music things. I don't know why, but I like this music way too much, even in like 8-bit form. You know what, I'll leave you playing that, because I, uh, I took this off by mistake. This is what it looks like without it on if you're interested. Hmm. You go over there, and I'll just finish the level for you. Oh yeah, it's my new high score! Zero coins! Hmm, irony. Right, next is going to be the, uh, I'm not even sure what this is, it's a springboard, it's a, I'm not sure, is it a plank? I'm not sure, there's a barcode on there. Hang on. Okay, please that sound effect. It literally does nothing else. <laughs> it's a squidge, there's like a, there's like a rubber element underneath there. That's all that happens with that. And I can move his arms down now, there we are. And now we've got the uh, one of the more slightly complicated ones. I'll do this one next. Right, I'll move the base plate out of the way. We'll be able to show you. There's a tile outside, and the sink. If you move it in, this happens. Or oh, nothing. Here you see, get scared. Uh, see, this is supposed to be the, the entryway, if I recall. Taking it off, and and then if you go round the back. Got this. There's a there's a there's a, a tile on the cog, and this moves if you spin. The door opens, and when the spider moves, there's a tile underneath there, which is a bone. I'm just gonna, before I show you what the bone is, just just gonna show you what uh, the portal pup does, just because the portal pup interacts with the bone. If I can remember where where I put the flipping pup, oh, it's here. There we are. Got you. Here he is. Was it a she? I'm not sure. Hi. Bone tile with different sound effects. If you scan this bone tile, you're given a bone. A bone. It's a, it's a yellow bone. Hmm. If you, if you go to pull it up, this happens. Like this. Hi. He eats it. And, oh, oh, and yeah, he appears on the screen for you, which is always nice. Let's move him out the way. Actually, for it. It's a sink because it's a sink. I'm thinking too hard about what I should call it in inanimate in objects. Look, then, look, then we've got this massive house. I'm not entirely sure. What? Well, oh, actually, you're supposed to mount uh, King Boo on top of there, but I'll show King Boo separately. Hmm. I've completely forgotten if, the, if it's like the same tile tile interaction with this with the other King Boo. Let's just check really quickly. I think it might be different. I think I counted twelve hits. I don't know. I think I accidentally hit him like three, two, two times as often. It's not the same tile past me. Oh, and this, and this is just the same thing as the uh, black tile here. It gives the same music. I think it's a Bowser Castle boss theme. I'm not sure what game it's from, but I like it a lot. I, I was gonna say last time that before the camera battery ran out, I first heard it in a Roblox game and I liked it. But I spent like um like a good like solid three or four years not knowing where it came from. I think I found it by accident. I was like, oh yeah, I like this a lot. And I just, unfortunately can't find the, the same Roblox theme. It's like a speedrun game, but with like mod levels mod after the you know, Green Hill Zone. And the first one was Green Hill Zone. And the second one was the Chemical Plant. If you know where it is or what it's called, please tell me because well, I would like to know what the music's from. <laughs> right. It's been bothering me for ages. Look, I'm not bothering with my friends thinking about it a lot. You can move this up and down, move it side to side. This moves as well, if you can see that. There's some stuff on the inside because they like that kind of thing, don't they? Eee, look, it's a moving black tongue. I just made it disturbing. Right, if I punk you up there, we can show you what the, the big urchin does. Hmm, there's a bucket on his back, and it's a spike sound effect. And the only way to properly kill him is by using a superstar. Then we've got the, um, I'm going to move on to the, the, the treasure, the, the crystal treasure things now. Uh, we've got the toilet with the green gem. You're supposed to press this lever, or lever if you're American, and it just comes up. The green gem does this. It shows the green gem. Ouija number one. 
Hang on, Sakaichi. Oh, I've been watching too much of that Don Brothers show. Then we've got this, um, oh, what's it called? It's a, um, like a uh, dining room thing. I'm not, I've completely forgotten what it's called, but what I do know is, I'll go grief, where's this switch? Oh, it's here. This thing at the back, you press, and this is supposed to move up. It comes, and the blue gem is inside. Like, why is it underneath there? I don't know. This is Luigi's Mansion. We'll give him the blue gem. And let's just set it back in here. Back in there. Oh, good grief. And then we've got the uh, the bed. Oh, good grief. Here's the bed. You can probably see the gem underneath there. If you press the, 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 the middle, comes up and the pillow is where the gem is. There's like an empty space. The gem is underneath the pillow. And this is what happens if you click. You obviously get the pink gem, as you've probably been able to figure out. And nothing happens if you get all three, I'm not sure. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think anything happens if you get all three gems, which uh alright, because it it would replicate the one, two, three blocks. Oh and yeah, I made the full statement of saying that the one, two, three blocks were only included in Captain Toad's uh, treasure hunt. That is a lie. They've been included with uh, the the beach hunt be the beach hut thing. Um and I've just I've just oh, only just remembered, so uh you just don't don't assault me in the comment section. Right now we've got the pool table. Which actually does a really good job of simulating the floating uh, effects from um, the, the the games. The it moves like this, and there's actually three barcodes. There's one on the uh, this side, and I think they all do the same thing. Oh, it's the red. It's a red coin challenge. Oh, I forgot. Hmm. Look, there's one on this side, and there's one on the bottom. And that's the same thing as the uh, first red coin tranche from a uh, Piranha pr pr Plant, uh, pr plant uh, puzzle thing I've completed. Oh, it's Piranha Plant Puzzling Challenge, I believe it's called. Oh, I've gone off the memory, so of course I'll forget stuffs. Here's an actual set! Because I thought it'd be too much hassle just to get the uh, blinking um, the, the tiles off and just sh show you. So here's the set as it is. It's uh, Resnor Knockdown. Here's the barcode at the, at the start. This is what it does. Hang on, I might have to move his arms up. Nothing happens. Literally, nothing happens. It moves the uh, the centre point. That, that's what happens. That's what happens. So, and there's three types of uh, thingies here. The first one, it it just he just stands there. And when I first built this set, I thought, hang on, isn't this some kind of like this some sort of saw death trap where he just flings you upside down like this? See, the more you move, he actually stays. See, the more you, I think the more you move, the more coins you'll get, which is all fine and dandy and all that. These one, these red ones are. Hang on, these red ones are where. Um, yeah, you can move it like this. The red ones are where there's not supposed to stand, and the last ones, the, la the last one or there is a question mark block, but it's massive like this. And there's like a there's like a thing up here which makes this tile come out, and you're supposed to get a like this. You're supposed to move the uh, skewer to a uh, cause like a thing a chain reaction and get the uh, block to hit it, but uh, I don't do das. Oh, instead I'll just put it on top of here and just... It's the same as a regular question block. I got the coins, I got five coins, brilliant reward. And there's a friend tile on here as well. And I think it's the same sound effect from the mirror, but he says, TEAMWORK! Which is something that Super Sentai would say if I'm not complete, to be completely brutally honest. Um, if I move this over here, naturally it's more Power Rangers than, than Sentai actually. Hmm. Right, then I've got the actual suits before we go to the actual other stuffs. Removing this. This is the penguin suit. And there's like a special sound effect. And besides, I don't, I don't have all the suits. Because I'm buying them. I thought, oh, hang on, these are the ones that I like the most. Let's just buy them. Because for some reason... For some reason, I think I liked the, uh, like, for example, I didn't really like the sound of well, the, the frog suit at the time, that's why I just got the big suit, so, um, feel free to assault me for not getting all them, but I'm pretty sure any other online review on YouTube will show you what those do. Here's the cat suit, and now I've done, the, uh, I don't know if the, um, pin combinations mean anything, if you would like to see what they are, like this one, for, for example, let me know if anything come out in the comment section, because, um, I know some people can hack these figures and get them to do different stuff, like the, um, I think I saw someone online make, uh, like, a machine that, uh, that pushes these pins and makes some, uh, triggers between the different suits, that's on, that was when wave one was a thing, here's what the cat suit does. 
Hang on. That's not what I can't see. Does look. That's what it does. And yeah, you can clamp the wall. So broken, apparently. You can. Go back to. I don't know. Go back to Japan. There's Japan. Right. And yeah, you, you do get like a pipe sound effect when you remove it. I think that's what happens in the sink as well. I'm not sure. I've got to do a jump cut now because I've just remembered some of these items are dusty. I need to wash my hands, wipe them, I mean. Oh. Welcome back to this video after a jump cut because, well, you can see there's some stuff that's been moved. There's, a, there's the Bowser's airship here because there's some stuff in it. Of course, I wouldn't have, of course I've had to move that stuff. I'm going to show you what the bee suit does now. Lego Luigi dies. On. It's the bee suit. Uh, some effects from, um... Mario Galaxy. Hang on, isn't that the water sound? Uh. Okay, you have to land him first before you can fly again. And yeah, I was right, I completely forgot about the propeller suit. Even though it should be green and not red, because this, this is Ouija. Don't know what that sound is. It's, 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 he, oh yeah, he gets dizzy when he's flying too much. Hmm. I've got to do it when there's a jump cut because the chain chomp's attached to an extra thing and it might be a bit heavy, so I need to make sure I can undo it in time to show you what it does. Welcome again. There's so many jump cuts in this video, good grief. It's, it's worth it because here's Mr. Chain Chomp. And yeah, I know he's got a different colour for a tongue, but ignore that. Look, he can open his mouth and disc his lower jaw. What does the barcode on the bottom do? You'd probably guessed. Dog sound effect, and it makes me scared. I think that's what, um, I think it was Shigeru Miyamoto. I think it was him that went to, went, went, like, went to a similar experience. I can't remember. I, I, I think I read, I think I read about it on Thomas King Doc's YouTube channel. Look him up if you want. He's also British. Look, here's the, um, contraption from, um, the, Lu L L L Luigi Star Course. It spins. These parts move up and down, but they both do the same thing. Let's just show you what they do. We've seen this on somewhere else before. Oh, this is heavy. This is actually much heavier heavy than it looks. See? Good grief, like a massive, uh, indestructible Lego seesaw. Yeah. And now we can move on to the biggest challenge to film. The Bowser's airship. I don't know why I'm doing this bit first. I just am. Right, moving the chain trunk, moving the suits, moving this entire thing. Oh, I'll be doing the 40 subscribe. I'll be doing the 40 subscriber video soon. Good grief. Here it is. Right, the the pirate head the pirate hat goomba does they got the same thing as a regular goomba. We've got the pirate hat basically it's the same as a regular goomba, so you can go over there. Um, there's a power block there which does the exact same thing. If I move this up and move the camera, you can see here that there's an extra barcode in there. You can see that in there, can't you? Yes, you can. And if I insert Luigi into this here, by well, moving his arms up first. He is able to drive the airship. I'm not actually gonna. I think it'll still work if I do this. No, I'm not gonna show it because I'm too afraid of dropping it. <laughs> Great. Um, yeah, that's what that does. And there's a switch here. No, not the Nintendo kind. Well, technically, this is Nintendo. If you press on this, the figurehead comes out slightly. There we are. And there's a barcode on top of this. And if you scan. It's an eight hit uh, mini boss. And I think the entire pirate ship double pirate ship. The entire ship doubles as a boss. But this, I think, all the different things count as bosses too. So, um, if you've got any, uh, if you've got any questions about that, that's my answer. But look at this. If you move these two panels here, do 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 do. This entire thing opens up like this. Da da. Oh, good grief. Open up. There we are. So you can see here. There's a massive abomination in the middle, and that's a hand. And if you um, remove the hand and align the two components so it makes, so when you put the hand back on it stays on, like this, it spins like a hand should do. And now if you um, hit the target on the side, that's actually a target, it's a printed piece, if you hit it the hand should drop down. 
like that, and it removes it. And there's a barcode underneath. What does the barcode do? Let's find out. It is supposed to be Bowser's hand. Look, it's like a hand. What happens if I hit it? Here's what happens. One, two, three, four, five. Twelve hit menu boss. I hope there's something that goes past twelve. I, I do hope there's something that goes past twelve because, to be honest, well, we need we need more enemies to do that because well, it it will allow them to do some like dry bars like I said in the previous video. And yeah, you can remove his fingers. That's not dark at all. See, ah, um, uh, yeah. So this entire thing should move, and this is where Lakitu is supposed to go. And I think this might have come off. This goes on here. Gonna have to do another jump cut. Welcome back to slightly different camera angle because well, the Bowser's airship was in the way. Here's the uh, device that uh, helps choose the difference between what each block does. Now you're supposed to spin the gear on this, and by like moving, moving, and this pirate ship, this spins. You're supposed to push this red button to make it come out. Now I've completely forgotten where the blocks are, so as a result, I'm just going to show you. Uh, because the same effect should happen if you were to just spin Luigi or marry one. If I just show you what the will do. That's a mushroom. You get 10 coins. You, you can also get a star. A poison mushroom, which is a troll. Bit of a troll, actually. Mario make a troll. Or a regular mushroom. And then you can select it. And this doesn't happen when you're playing the game. It only, ha only happens when you're building levels like this. And the yellow, yellow orange one does this. You can choose time, oh it's time, 30 seconds, 15 seconds, 10 seconds, or 10 seconds, I'm not sure what the, um, I'm not sure what the standard clock does, I think it just chooses one for you, let's see. Oh yeah, it makes it just go down to, f oh it forces into a thing where you only get 15 seconds, good grief. But that's a bit of a troll actually. Also, the um the uh, the yellow tile on this does not result in like coin with extra coins. It just gives you I think less time. Jump cut. Here's a rotating door. Yes, there's a barcode inside here as well. If you can see that there. Here's what it does. Literally nothing happens. I think it just oh it, oh it's a sound effect before you spin it. Hello. Right, and then next is going to be the, um, I think I'll leave the gold ghost till last because it requires the extra suit. Here's the girl, and if you move it up here, this goes down like this. It's a bit, it's a bit, it's, it's, it's a bit stuck. The same, but the barkers do exactly the same things. Let's just show you what they do. They just do that sound effect. So it requires three hits to actually do something. Here's the skewer, when you move this part, the skewer comes out, and if you set this on here like this... Sound effect. That only when you move it out, it doesn't, nothing, nothing happens when you move it back in. Right, next things are both of both the uh, blue whale thing, I've completely forgotten what they're called. That's a friend tile of the music we've already heard. And then the next thing is... Yeah, I need to clean that up. Look, this is the um, blue or the blue dolphin that comes to the race track version, and this is different music. That's nice music, I think. Yeah, I need to, I need to do a jump cut now because I just dropped it on the floor. I need to pick it up. I'll just set you down there. Welcome back. So yeah, the thing I dropped on the floor was comic. So that's the next thing I'll be showing you what that does. Um, if I remove the Luigi from this. I can show you what Comic does here. Uh, the, the broom and Comic have got different things they can do. Here's Comic's barcode. Four hit boss. And I believe the broom is a thing you can ride on. This part spins for some reason. That's the um, Mario 64 painting uh, effect. And even I know that, good grief. Right. And then the next thing we've got is a rocky wrench. Even though this looks doesn't even look like vaguely like a wrench, there's a barcode on his back. Three hit boss, even though that that's definitely not a boss. And then the last item we have, and then the second last item we have is the Polybag exclusive Bowser Jr. clown car. And this part moves up. 
see and that's because of when you insert this sound effect with music we've already seen heard that's and that's the sound effect so that's nice and then we've also got the the gold ghost i'm assuming it's the same effect as the other ghosts we've got the suit on yes it is let's equip the suit let's see what it does Five hit boss. That's the end of this video. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, put, I'm gonna hopefully do Lego One, Lego Mario One, Lego Mario Two. That's this one, both on the same day, since it's probably take about an hour to upload. Um, and then hopefully, hopefully later, I've got, I've got to do a blog post update. That's never a good thing in YouTube's opinion. And then I've got, and then, and then, and then, 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 then,